Hey guys, it's me Rich and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video ay magkakaroon tayo ng tutorial kung paano ko gumawa ng pop art effect with background using PixArt. So let's start. So click natin yung PixArt na app and then click the add button and then pili ka ng picture na gusto mong i-edit. So ito yung napili ko. And then, click the cut out button. And then, tingnan mo or i-check po yung photo if satisfied ka na sa pagkaka-cut out. But if not, i-edit mo na lang. Click the paint brush if may gusto ka pang isama dun sa photo na i-cut. And then, click the erase button if may gusto ka namang i-erase na nasama dun sa pagkaka-cut out ng PixArt. And then, just check your photo if satisfied ka na sa pagkaka-cut out or pagkaka-edit. And if satisfied ka na, click save. Ayan. Then, next is hanapin mo yung effects na button. And then, click undead. Click mo yung fade button. Adjust mo lang siya kung gano'y yung gusto mong effects. And then, if satisfied ka na, Ayan, adjust, adjust lang best. And if satisfied ka na, click next and save. Ayan. Click the download photo and then done. Next naman nating gagawin is yung ating background. So, click the add button again. Scroll ka lang best and then hanapin mo yung backgrounds. Click see all and then syempre punta tayo sa free backgrounds. Ayan. Click see all again. And then, nag-loading lang siya best. Medyo mahina ang internet. Ayan. So, you have many photos to choose from. So, hanap ka lang best. Ayan. Scroll, scroll ka lang. Hanggang sa mahanap mo yung gusto mong background. So, hanap lang tayo. Ayan. May nakita na ako. Parang ito na. Ayan. Click. And then, ito na yung napili kong background kanina. Next is, click tools and then shape crop. Ayan. And then, may mga lalabas na different shapes sa baba. Then, pili ka lang doon kung ano yung gusto mo. But sa akin is circle. Then, i-adjust mo lang siya. Depende sa gusto mo. And then, if satisfied ka na, click save. And then, next. And then, download photo. Ayan. So, para sa background pa rin natin yung gagawin natin ngayon. So, click the add button. Scroll ka lang and then hanapin mo yung color background. And then, click the first one which is yung transparent background. Then, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, click tools and then shape crop. Piliin mo yung same shape na ginamit mo kanina which is yung akin is circle. Click save, next and then download photo. So, this is the time na pagsasamasamahin na natin yung mga inedit natin kanina. So, click again the add button and then hanapin mo yung color backgrounds. Choose white. And then, add photo. Hanapin mo yung background na ginawa mo kanina. Ayan. And then, adjust mo lang siya. Okay. Kitna mo lang. Ayan. And then, add photo again. Click the transparent background na ginawa mo kanina. Lagay mo lang sa center nung background. Then, apply. And then, hanapin mo yung photo na inedit mo. Adjust mo lang din kung saan mo siya gusto ipwesto. And then, if satisfied ka na, click the opacity. Para makita natin yung background, click the erase button sa taas. And then, zoom in the photo erase yung excess dun sa ating background. If tapos ka na or satisfied ka na, click check and then add photo. And then hanapin natin yung dripping effect natin na dinownload. Click blend and then hanapin mo yung effect na screen. And then click apply. Ayan, adjust mo lang siya kung saan mo siya gusto ipwesto. Click apply. So, almost done na tayo. 
we will just add the finishing touches like stickers ayan and then search tayo ng butterfly crown so depende sa iyo yon kung ano yung gusto mong i-add na sticker just click yung napili mo and then i-adjust mo lang yung size niya and yung pwesto niya depende sa gusto mo if satisfied ka na click apply and then next Save and then download photo and then you're done. Makikita mo na siya dun sa iyong photos. And then that is our tutorial for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. And then see you on my next one. Goodbye!